Sorry, everyone. No, I'm not smoking a, uh, a smokeless filtered um, e-cigarette. Um, what I'm doing is I am using my Ketonix uh, breath, breath meter to measure the acetone levels from my breath, and that correlates really well with um, how much ketones that I'm producing. There's actually three different ways that you can determine um, what your ketone levels are, and that is either doing the, the test strips where you pee on, which are really good in the very beginning. They're cheap, it's inexpensive, it's quick, um, but if you're trying to become keto adaptive, after about a couple weeks when you've started to become keto adaptive, you're not going to have any positive tests on those ketone strips because you're no longer spilling out those ketone bodies in the urine. So it's good in the beginning, but it has its limitations. The next one is doing a blood meter, and the blood meter basically is like the glucometer, but you're using um, ketone strips, and that gets to be expensive if you're going to try to track your progress over time. And then the last one is the breath meter, and this was actually pioneered in Sweden, and if you go to ketonics.com, Calm. I don't get any relationship to that, um, but that measures your breath and that tells you how well your ketones are. Um, anyways, I'm really excited to announce a, a workshop. I put together a teleseminar and I was going to announce this tomorrow, but I had so many people sign up for last ones that I want to let it out early. I want the cat out of the bag a little bit early. So we're going to do this Thursday. Um, you're going to see the link underneath this post. Make sure that you register and, and basically what I'm going to be talking about um, is diet ketosis and its role in adrenal fatigue recovery and basically I'm going to hold your hand and teach you how to become keto adaptive and whether or not it's good for you what are some of the roadblocks to becoming keto adaptive that may not be good for you um, also what are some good supplements that can help you get into ketosis and I really think that if you've been suffering with an adrenal fatigue problem for a long time then you absolutely need to consider showing up for my how to achieve adrenal fatigue recovery using ketosis so just click on the link below and then I look forward to talking to you guys um, on, our, on our Thursday webinar, our teleseminar. Thanks and have a great day.